Um, you talked about being annoyed by typos and spelling errors and grammar issues in your book. Do you have an editor that you usually go with? Um, the person that you were mentioning earlier, how do you, how do you go about editing your book? That's a question that we have a lot from different authors because they're nervous about, you know, giving their work to someone new and how do they go about that process? Well, um, my books are poetry, right, really, right now, even though a novel's coming up. Um, so throughout the entire process of writing uh, Up the Creek Without a Saddle, which ended up being 99 poems, those poems through the years were emailed to friends, um, not necessarily editors or anything, just friends, you know, to get their reaction on stuff. Because I, I, you know, I like to share my stuff with people. So when the time came when I wanted this to be in a book, I mean, if you look in like the front cup, you know, in the acknowledgments, there's a list of people who have helped me edit that book. Um, Pat Gowdy O'Brien, uh, Matt Mayo, and the, and the list goes on. And, you know, the, the, things, the things in the poem, the acknowledgments, the preface and all this, that was gone through the eyes of people who were professionals at doing this, okay? And, you know, some people go, well, my Aunt Ethel's gonna do it for me. You know, she got a B plus in, in, in freshman English in high school, and she's <laughs> really good. I mean, no, you're, you, I mean, you gotta go beyond that. Um, there, there are world-class writers who sadly have typos in their books. <laughs> yeah. um, it's not that they, it's, some of them are probably accidents or whatever, but you know, one typo. And, well, one good thing about print on demand, you could get them fixed That's true. <laughs> before, you, before you get your next batch of books, you know? Yeah, and I mean, you raise an interesting point, Jerry, because at the end of the day, it isn't just about typos, because frequently, you know, sloppy is sloppy. So it's not just the text that's missing some periods or something, but the thinking isn't refined yet uh, in those cases. And, you know, you're talking about a copy editor who helps you with your syntax, your grammar, your usage, your mechanics, that kind of thing. But a content editor is really important as well, even for advanced writers. You know, I've got a book that comes out next month. Did I use a copy editor? Yes, of course I did. Did I use a content editor? Yes, of course I did. Um, that's really, really important. You know, both of those steps, even for people like you and me who, you know, have a lot of experience in this writing thing. <laughs> Well, I feel like we've, we've talked about this in the podcast before. It's, it's talking about the level of professionalism that you want to present to your reader. 